People off the side of the moon, let's throw some more grenades. We like to do these demos live, but because this is a, a co-op game, we can always rely on our buddies. That's right. Always better to play with friends. All right, now let's go ahead and show off the uh, the cryo gun. We showed a little bit of it earlier, but didn't really get to see it in action. Let's go ahead and free some enemies. So we've actually built this uh, procedural system so you can freeze any enemy like that. And once you get their health down to a certain threshold, you can shatter them. It's not an instant win button because you do need to get their health down low, but when you manage to do it, it's really satisfying. And it's different every single time. Now we're gonna go ahead and divide and conquer so we can wipe out these scabs a little bit faster. Um, and then we're gonna try to meet back up in a little bit. Athena, freeze this guy and try to, try to stomp him. Athena had a good tactic there. If you manage to get really high, your butt stuff will actually do more damage. So if you free someone, you can butt stuff down and shatter them from above. Now, you can, you can do more than just freezing them uh, while they're on the ground. We've got some jet fighter, uh, some sort of jet pack enemies. Let's try to freeze them while they're in the air. So if, if we do manage to freeze one of these guys in the air and they fall down a railing, they'll actually split in half. It's one of these uh, kind of random events that I love to see in the game. But we, this is also a new enemy, uh, the Badass Outlaw. Now this guy is pretty big and because of the low gravity, if he charges into you, he can actually knock you pretty far. But when you shatter him into a million pieces, that doesn't really matter too much. It's very satisfying. Now, we did get a new skill point while we were out there, so let's uh, go ahead and allocate that. We're going to put it into the uh, the ultimate skill in this tree, uh, which is Wrath of the Goddess. This will allow uh, Athena's shield to bounce around multiple enemies inside of a sort of like a close circle. This is a great way to manage crowds. Oh, uh, Wilhelm, it looks like he got something. What is that? So that's the Dar laser. That's uh, kind of like a bolt laser. Athena, you picked up the Molly One beam laser before, and as James said earlier, you have multiple manufacturers, you have the procedural weapon system, so players can expect to see a whole variety of different types of lasers when they play the game. Uh, to the right here, uh, you'll see one of the new rideable vehicles in Borderlands, the pre-sequel, the Stingray. Uh, we're not going to need in this mission, so we're going to keep moving forward. But keep an eye out, because we might have something more about that um, in some later news. Alright, looks like I found another loot chest. Let's pop this open and see what we have. Let's see if we have a, a new Oz kit over to the right here. So what does this Oz kit do? Let's see, so it looks like it uh, increases your oxygen meter. Um, it allows you to create an oxygen bubble, which comes in really handy when doing a slam. Uh, so let's go ahead and give that to Wilhelm and uh, see if we, can, if we can do some damage with it. So the Eye of Helios is uh, charging up now, and it's actually firing into the surface of the moon. Which is probably not such a good thing when you see uh, bits of the ground kind of floating above you like that. Probably a good reason for us to get back up to that space station as soon as possible. Alright, so we've got a group of enemies coming up. Uh, and so we're going to use our buddy Wilhelm to help us charge up our shield so we can get it going. Because you can use friendly fire uh, to charge up Athena's shield. Let's try and take out all those guys at once. Nice. Awesome. Alright, well, um, yep, butt stomp time. And you see that bubble, uh, you can run inside that to recharge your oxygen. Um, as we mentioned earlier, you can also use the oxygen to set enemies on fire when you're out in this sort of area. Uh, so maybe we get a chance to use that, maybe we don't. 
Yeah, it is, it is a really good combo if you get that oxygen bubble with the fire to burn enemies, but I really love getting the cryo one as well, so if you jump down from high enough, butt stomp and shatter and freeze a guy all in one go. Why don't we try and get some more butt stomps happening? I never get tired of it. Uh, so we've, we've got some little scabs and a little outlaw here. Uh, this is a really good opportunity to try and charge that shield right up. So absorb some more damage. It's fully spinning now. So just move back a little bit, Athena, and fire it off. Oh, awesome. Nice. Now there's a lot more resistance in this area than we than we planned. We might need a little more help on this one. Who who could help us out possibly? Uh-oh. All right, we really need some, down. Down. need some help And we have hey! playable Claptrap. For the first time ever in a Borderlands game, you get to play as Claptrap. And he's going to help us out a little bit in this fight. Thanks, buddy. All right, let's fight these guys out. And the other playable character in Borderlands the sequel is Nisha the Lawbringer, who fans of the franchise will also remember. We'll be talking about her at a later date. Beautiful frozen badass outlaw. So yeah, we should probably head in here and try and disable that signal so we can get up to the space station. Alright, you better get him, Athena. Uh, getting close. Uh, did we mention low gravity already? Awesome. Well, hey, thanks everyone for staying tuned uh, for Borderlands pre sequel uh, coming to you this fall. Uh, that's spring for all the Aussies out there. You coming?